wrong. Here we are doing systems of equations with a new method called elimination, and this is where it's at. Right here, this is where you're, you're probably 99% of my students are going to do this. All right, first question. What is the opposite number of 5? People will say negative 5. And what's the opposite of 3? And people will say negative 3. And what's the opposite of, say, negative 7? And that would be 7. Those are opposites. We are looking to find these opposite things here. First of all, when you do elimination, you want to make sure that they are lined up. And I will get rid of this, but X's, Y's, equal signs, and then numbers. That's how it has to be. But what I want, my goal here, is to make this number a negative 3. Because when I add this, don't write this yet, I will eliminate that variable and I'll make it a 0. That's what I want to have happen here. To do that, to get that opposite number, I have to multiply this thing by negative 3. Okay, so what I'm going to do is rewrite the top. Check this out. 5y equals negative 8 and multiply the bottom by negative 3. So I'm going to have here negative 3x and then minus 6y equals negative 3 because I multiply each one of these terms here by negative 3. This one, this one, and this one. And I wind up with this. So I'll draw a line under this and then add it because I now have this opposite situation. So this now does become a zero. But instead of putting a zero here, I'm just going to leave it blank. Here's my equal sign. Um, how many y's do I have? Well, that's minus 11y. And over here, negative 11. If I go back, I can flip this back real fast. I'll come back to that. But if I show you substitution, same problem, different step. I was all the way over here. I'm all the way over here now. That's the advantage of elimination. It's so much faster. So very much faster. Okay. So now I'm dividing by that coefficient again, and it's turning into the same problem now. So I got y equals 1. And then I just do what I did before. I have to plug this back into it. Now I do have to go back to one of the originals over here. I have to go back to one of the originals. Um, I'm just going to pick this one. I'll make it x plus 2y equals 1, and I'll plug in y for 1. So it's going to be 2 times 1 equals 1. Continuing here, that's x plus 2 equals 1, and then I subtract 2. And I should get the same thing as I did when I did this with substitution, and I believe it was negative 1, 1, because remember, this is of the form xy coordinate points. This one is called independent because it has one solution and this is elimination. There will be more but that's basically the nuts and bolts of it. Have a good day.